So a couple of years ago, I made a decision that completely changed my life. I decided to close all of my credit card accounts. I was just done with credit. I was on a debt-free journey and also the amount of credit cards I had was starting to get out of hand. I had not only store credit cards like from Ulta or Macy's or New York and Company, but I also had credit cards from banks because they would give you like such amazing cash back bonuses or they would give you such amazing rewards if you spent a certain amount of money within a certain amount of time frame, you would get cash cash from them so and then it just started to be difficult to manage you know having a little bit of a balance on each credit card is just it's just not fun I knew going in that my credit score would be affected but I still had hope in the back of my mind that maybe it wouldn't be affected too much or it was something that I could salvage but unfortunately with each credit card that I closed my credit score dipped and dipped and then dipped some more it was absolutely devastating because I knew that my credit score would be important in the future for, for example, when I wanted to buy a house or if I needed to take out a mortgage and so on and so forth. But not too long after that, I managed to bring it back up to higher than it ever was, even after closing over 10 credit cards. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to explain exactly what happens when you close a credit card and how you can bring your credit score back up to higher than it was before you close your credit cards. So welcome, I'm Haya Ali and in my free time I make videos about personal finance. So I'm going to take you guys to the kitchen with me to make some coffee. Well not actually make some coffee, you'll see what I mean in a bit. So I've mentioned a couple of times how I was on the Dave Ramsey Baby Step program and that's when I got rid of all of my debt. And it's so easy to get lost when you're in that mindset of gazelle intensity in Baby Step 2. And if you don't know what gazelle intensity is, it's what Dave Ramsey describes um, how pretty much how intense and how fast you need to be when you're trying to get rid of all of your debt is like a gazelle running away from a cheetah. So there needs to be a huge sense of urgency like you're running for your life. But unless you plan on paying cash for everything moving forward after you pay for all of your debt, including buying a house or any investment properties or any investment whatsoever, then having a good credit score gives you a lot of advantages, including borrowing at the cheapest rates. Yeah. And for investment opportunities, you can do this without paying a cent towards interest. But that's a topic for another video. So regardless of what anyone says, having a good credit score makes your life easier. And maybe in your financial journey, you're following the baby steps from Dave Ramsey's program. Your credit score is essentially just a measure of how well you manage debt. Just because someone has a good credit score doesn't mean that they're financially doing well or they have a lot of money. It just means that they have a certain amount of debt that they're managing pretty well. It could be a lot of debt. It could be that they're financially drowning, but as long as they're, they're making their payments on time and they're managing that debt in a responsible way then they're going to have a good credit score so if you're on baby step two for example of Dave Ramsey's baby steps and you're trying to get rid of all of your debt then one of those steps is to get rid of all of your credit card debt in fact that's one of the first steps because credit cards have ridiculously crazy high interest rates so if you're on baby step two and you're getting rid of those credit cards if you don't have other forms of debt like a mortgage or maybe a car loan or student loans first of all awesome congratulations you're doing something very right but getting rid of those credit cards and not having other forms of debt is essentially going to right, wipe out your credit score. You're going to have a credit score of zero eventually. And regardless of what anyone says, having a good credit score makes your life easier. Yes, it's so possible for you to buy a house and even get a mortgage with, without a credit score, but the steps and the process that you have to go through is longer and a little bit more tedious and you have to provide some more paperwork. If you just had a good credit score, it would be a much simpler and easier way of going about things. So when you have a credit card, essentially what's happening is a credit card company is telling you, hey, this is your credit limit of, let's say for example, $3,000. This is money you get to borrow and pay us back with interest and that's how we will make most of our money and that is you managing their debt. And there are a number of factors that go into measuring your credit score. So two of them are, are affected highly when you decide to close a credit card account. And the first one is your credit utility and that is how much or what percentage of your debt that you are using. So for example, if you have a $1,000 credit card and you're using 
using $100 from it, then you are using 10%. And generally, most financial professionals online will tell you to stay under 30% in order for you to keep a good uh, credit score. So the first one is credit utility, and the second one is credit history, or how long you have had credit card for. So this has a generally low impact compared to the credit utility, but the longer you've had a credit card or the longer you have managed a, a certain amount of debt, the better it is for your credit score because it shows that you are able to manage debt long term and not just short term. So those are the two factors that get affected immediately after you close a credit card account. Your utility will generally go up and your credit history will go down. And that is why you get bumped down a few notches on your credit score each time that you close a credit card. But there is a way where you can close all of your credit cards and minimize this effect and then bring your credit score back up to higher than it was before. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in the next part of this video, so stay tuned. And please do not forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. It would really make my day and also help me with this side hustle that I'm trying to do in my free time. So the first step is to keep in mind that credit utilization has a high impact on your credit score. So you'll want to keep this number as close to zero as possible. I've mentioned before that experts online say to stay below 30% of credit utilization, but I've noticed that when I'm at 0% credit utilization, that's when I have the highest credit score. Even if I use a credit card a little bit and I'm staying below 10%, my credit score still dips a few points compared to when it's at 0% utilization. So with this in mind, when you're closing your credit card accounts, make sure to pay off those balances first and here's why let's say for example you have a total balance of five hundred dollars on your credit cards and let's also suppose that you have a credit limit of two thousand dollars across two different credit cards so a thousand dollars for each credit card so five hundred dollars with a two thousand dollar credit limit that is only twenty five percent of credit utilization which is still below the recommended number of thirty percent but if you close one of those accounts and now you only have a thousand dollars of credit limit and you still have that five hundred dollar balance well now five hundred dollars is fifty percent of that credit limit which is insanely high and will hurt your credit score. Now, if you're not closing all of your accounts and you're deciding to keep one or more of them open, which is what I did, I decided to keep only one open so I can have some type of credit score instead of having a credit score of just zero. Now you have to keep in mind the second factor which goes into your credit score and that is age of credit history. And the way that your credit score calculates this is by taking the average across all of your credit lines. So let's say for example, you opened a credit card 10 years ago and you open one today. So 10 years and zero years, the average of those two combined is five years. So that is your age of credit history. If you're closing one of those accounts, you're much better off closing the newer account so that you can have a longer age of credit history. Generally, you'll want to have a credit line open for at least seven years. Anything below four years is not considered good. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do about this except give it some time. This is because lenders typically like to see that you are using credit responsibly. Lenders also like to see that you know how to use a variety of credits responsibly. So if you had a lot of accounts open, then strictly speaking for your credit score, that's generally a good thing. The number of your total accounts does have a low impact on your credit score, but it still has an impact nonetheless. So when I was closing all of my credit cards, I thought that this number of total accounts would go down. It didn't. They still stayed on my account. And the reason is that if you have an account in good standing, it stays on your credit report for 10 years. If your account is not in good standing, meaning uh, the lender maybe left you a derogatory remark for missed or late payments, then it stays on your credit for seven years. So all of those closed accounts still are there and they still affect your credit score in a good way. Strictly speaking, when I say a good way, I don't mean it's good to have a lot of credit lines open. I just mean for your credit score, it's a better thing. If you go to Credit Karma and you put in all of your information, you can see all of your open and your closed accounts. Having over 10 accounts is considered good because it shows lenders that you can take on more on your plate if you're trying to take out another loan like a mortgage. If you're trying to take control of your credit and you follow these steps, then your credit score will definitely go up even if you decide to close all or most of your credit cards. But first, download the app called Credit Karma this way you can keep track of what your credit score already looks like and they also provide specific tips for you that can help you increase your credit score. If you're trying to get a control of your finances in general, then download the app called Mint. This app keeps track of all of your spending, all of your credit cards, and some trends in your spending that you might not see otherwise. I'm not sponsored by 
either of these in any way. These apps have just genuinely helped me and I use them on a daily basis to just improve my overall personal finances. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and also comment down below what do you think of credit cards? Do you think it's better to have a lot of credit cards and take advantage of all of the programs and rewards that are offered by them? Or is it just better to just use cash moving forward? This is something that I think about and uh, I've, see, I've seen both sides. I've seen people who only use cash and they are killing it and they're winning in life. But I've also seen people who know how to have a bunch of credit cards, keep their balances zero, and take advantage of all of the rewards that credit card companies provide. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think. And thank you again so much for watching.